call this meeting to order with the Pledge of Allegiance. Osling. Oh, Osling here. Thompson. Thompson absent. Carr. Carr absent. Pittman. Here. Pittman here. Slattery. Here. Slattery here. Pulos. Pulos absent. Johnson. Here. Johnson here. Frausto. Here. Frausto here. Bellato. Bellato absent. He asked me to inform the council and the rest of the, um, the city council here that um, his wife is having complications with the pregnancy. She just got out of the hospital. <coughs> last night, so hopefully she'll be, everything will be okay. Vieta. Here. Vieta here. Rita. Here. Rita here. Donahue. Here. Donahue here. Holly. Here. Holly here. Farrenwald. Here. Farrenwald here. Ten present. Thank you very much. Now on to, uh, I need a motion to approve the city council minutes for the date of April the 9th, 2019. Do I have a motion? By Alvin Pittman, second by Alvin Farrenwald. Any questions? Osling. Aye. Osling, aye. Pittman. Aye. Pittman, aye. Slattery. Aye. Slattery, aye. Johnson. Aye. Johnson, aye. Frausto. Aye. Frausto, aye. Vieta. Aye. Vieta, aye. Rita. Abstain. Rita, abstain. Donahue. I'm also going to abstain. Donahue, abstain. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Eight ayes and ten abstentions. Thank you very much. Now we move on to public comment. Good evening, Your Honor and City Council members. Uh, thank you very much for allowing me to uh, say a few words. Uh, I'm a type of person, born and raised, actually I was, uh, first 17 years I was, uh, grew up in Gypsy Town. Anybody know where Gypsy Town is? That's where all the Wrangles, the Marinos, the uh, uh, Burgos, the, uh, uh, who else, a lot of Contreras, the, even has some whites, the Hesses and Simons, so forth. And, <laughs> anyway, I was talking to Carmen Blout earlier that I'm going to run for Gypsy Town. I'm going to run for mayor for Gypsy Town. <laughs> the, honor, uh, the honorary uh, Ray Spars passed away. He was the honorary Gypsy Town. But all that said, because I'm a type of person, I try to have a sense of humor. I'm not super serious, and I'm a type of person that doesn't come here just to, you know, just to say things stupid. But I don't do that. I'm here with the concerns for the city, for my neighborhood. And uh, I was talking to Bernie, police chief before the meeting that uh, this um, Easter Sunday, which is a beautiful Sunday, I'm, I'm glad the Lord gave us a beautiful Sunday, that I, w I was walking down a block talking to people, and I noticed at the end of the block, some people were parked by the fire hydrant. Twice I had to call the police department, twice. About 12, 1 o'clock, and then about 5, 6 o'clock, twice. And they, it's, a, it's, it's a parking situation there. And then, of course, at the end of the block, it says no parking, and the cars are parked over there by block, uh, parking area. And what's worse is there's trash. Oh, I don't know wh whose property is that by the old, you know, place used to be over there just south of 135th Street, but there's trash. It looks, looks like a dump. And a lot of people in my neighborhood, hey, Tom, if you go to the city council, mention that to him. I mean, this... It, it's an eyesore. It's, 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 it doesn't look good. I don't know who's, who, who's responsible for that, but like I said, hopefully we, we could do something about it more or less. So, but like I said, that's the only concerns I have. And like I said, th thank you for uh, me. You know, let me say a few words. Thank you. Have a nice day. Excuse me, Tom. Tom, yes, could you give me the address of that property that you're talking about that need to clean up? Do you know the address? Yeah, it's at. Uh, it's at the end of uh, Mozart and Fr Francisco. It's on 135th Street. <coughs> yes. And it, yeah, because it just, because uh, I know some of my neighbors uh, mentioned to me, because some of my neighbors don't like to say too much, but I'm, like I said, I'm retired now, and uh, I know some of my neighbors say, hey, Tom, why don't you run for ultimate? I said, I can't, because. I travel too much. I go out of town. My son lives in California. I go to Arizona a lot, and I, 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 I couldn't do it. But like I said, I just, yeah, I, I'm just concerned citizen. That's all. I'm like, I, said, I, don't, I don't like to just, when I go to sleep at night, I thank you, Lord, for another day of life. And I don't, I don't 
worry about other stupid stuff that you know goes around. Okay, thank you. I'd like to appoint Bernard Bernardine Arzab as Chief of Police. Can I have a motion to concur? Motion involving Pittman, second involving Slattery. Roll call, please. Osling. Aye. Osling, aye. Pittman. Aye. Pittman, aye. Slattery. Aye. Slattery, aye. Johnson. Aye. Johnson, aye. Frausto. Aye. Frausto, aye. Vieta. Aye. Vieta, aye. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Ten ayes. Thank you very much. Chief, I need you to come forward. <coughs> know, does anybody have a camera in the offices in the back? Can somebody take a photo, please? I got it. Okay. I'm going to need you to raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, Bernadine Arzap, having been appointed, having been appointed to the office, to the office of chief of police, of chief of police in the city of Blue Island, in the city of Blue Island, County of Cook, County of Cook, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support, that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America, the Constitution of the United States of America, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and that I will faithfully discharge, and I will faithfully discharge the duties, the duties of the office. Of the office of chief of police of chief of police for the city of Blue Island for the city of Blue Island according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability so help me God so help me God congratulations Thank you. Thank you. Chief, the podium is yours gentlemen officers fellow officers I would first like to thank Mayor Vargas and the City Council for giving me the opportunity to serve as the Chief of Police for the City of Blue Island. It is an honor and a privilege to continue to be a part of a great community and a police department. I may not be well known within the community like previous chiefs before me, but I have dedicated almost 22 years to the police department and the community in many ways. I know my role as police chief will allow me to be more involved with city officials and community members, and I look forward to it. I am very, I'm a very private person, being raised as the youngest of five children in a middle-class Polish Catholic family. My father served in the Army during the Korean War and dedicated over 60 years of his life working at Modern Drop Forge in Blue Island before losing his battle to cancer. My mom worked for the phone company until my oldest sibling was born. Then she decided to stay at home to raise us and take care of the household. She will be 83 years old tomorrow and is unfortunately battling the disease of Alzheimer's. I was very fortunate to be raised by strict and loving parents, teaching me the importance of being respectful and hardworking. I have continued to work hard throughout my life and have searched for every opportunity to grow. Throughout my career as a police officer, I have met many challenges and I have tried to take advantage of every opportunity to advance my training and education. I have been a supervisor for the last 10 years and I have spent over half of my career in the investigations division. In 2010, I completed the Police School of Staff and Command at Northwestern University, 
while at the same time obtained my bachelor's degree in public safety management. <clears throat> In 2013, I graduated from Governor State University with a master's degree in criminal justice. Throughout the years, I was fortunate to be a member of the South Suburban Major Crimes Task Force, completing my tenure as an assistant commander. I was also certified as a juvenile officer, crime scene investigator, field training officer, and lead homicide investigator. I realize the position of Chief of Police is going to be challenging and hard work, so I am confident my training, education, and experience will assist me along the way. I would like all of us to think about why we are really here this evening. I am humble, although grateful, for the role I am about to partake in, but it's not about a Chief's badge pinned on my uniform shirt or stars placed on my collar. It's about the continued commitment to protecting and serving the citizens of Blue Island. Tonight is about the responsibility of making sure that the men and women under my command are held accountable, are provided, providing continued service to the community, and that each and every one of them make it home safe at the end of each and every shift. The same holds true for the department staff who are a valuable asset to the department. This night is about everyone sitting and standing behind me, the dedicated citizens and the dedicated police officers and department staff. I encourage every alderman here and those who will soon be sworn in as aldermen to reach out to me so that we can get to know each other a little better and find ways to keep the communication lines open we must all work together to make this community better. I may not have an answer to every question or solution to every problem, but I will work hard and I will dedicate my time for the betterment of the police department and the community. I will do my best to make sure the men and women of the police department are continuing to provide the service that the citizens deserve and that they are <coughs> providing those services within the laws of the state, federal, and local governments. I would like to thank my friends and coworkers, family, and loved ones for helping me along the way and supporting me throughout my life and career. I have learned so much from every one of them and have the utmost respect for them. Without all of their love and support, I would not be here today. I would like to thank retired Chief LaSalle King for allowing me to work side by side with him during the last 15 months of his career. Sergeant Ishmael Haro and Lori Salgado have played vital roles in our success, and I owe them a great deal of gratitude as well. We have accomplished many things during our tenure together, and I look forward to continuing to lead the department down the same positive path that Chief King has left for us. Our success would not exist without the hard work and dedication of the men and women in blue who work as supervisors, who work patrol, investigations, and specialty units 365 days of the year. I will continue to do this job until I am told otherwise. Only God knows how long that will be. Thank you again, and I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. Next, we move on to the appointments of the following. This is for historic preservation. 
I made the appointment of Gabriel McGee. Mr. McGee, could you stand up? Uh, Tom Mantel, I know he's here. There he is. Uh, I know Earl Summers is not here, and Kevin Brown are not here. Again, these are my appointments for historic preservation. I could ask for your concurrence if we can have a roll call, please. No, motion to second. I need a motion by Alderman Ostling, second by Alderman uh, Johnson. Roll call, please. Ostling. Aye. Ostling, aye. Pittman. Aye. Pittman, aye. Slattery. Aye. Slattery, aye. Johnson. Aye. Johnson, aye. Frausto. Aye. Frausto, aye. Vieta. Aye. Vieta, aye. Rita. Abstain. Rita, abstain. Donahue. I also abstain. Donahue, abstain. Holly. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Eight ayes and two abstentions, Your Honor. Thank you very much, Council. Next to the Mayor's announcements. In the forum, um, there's an article that I wrote and it continued uh, communication between the City of Blue Island, uh, the State of Illinois, regarding the Western Avenue Bridge. If you get a chance to pick up uh, the column, you can see who the letters were addressed to. And we're awaiting responses from those individuals. Next, let me take this opportunity again to thank the following aldermen. Alderman Jan Osling, who started her career as an alderman back in 1995. I'm going to go down the list and I'm going to go back. Uh, alderman Leticia Vieira, who started her career as an alderman in 2004 to the present. Alderman Nancy Thompson, uh, 2011 to the present. Alderman Jairo Frausto, 2011 to the present. Alderman Ken Pittman, 2013 to the present, and Alderman George Poulos, 2015 to the present. To all of you, your commitment, your dedication, not only as aldermen, but to the residents in your individual wards, but particularly to the, all the residents of the city of Blue Island, because as you've said over the years, that you're the alderman for all residents, not just for one particular area of the city. And you've demonstrated that over the years. Alderman Austin and myself have gone back many, many years. Back in 1995, I was an alderman in 1991, so she came on board shortly after I did. She is the veteran alderman here, uh, high honor. Um, I put her in certain situations as committee chairs throughout the years and as mayor and she's served as chairman in certain committees and has done exceptionally well in, in those responsibilities. We want to personally thank her for her service to the city, to her ward, to her state, and to this country because it is. It's a dedication that you could be somewhere else, but you're not. You're here taking time away from your family and being here dedicating to your community. To Alban Leticia Vieira, I think you were number three, Hispanic alderman. I think after uh, P. Vasquez and myself, no, take that back, four. Because it was Dennis Rangel, oh, yeah. and then myself, then uh, P. Vasquez, and then yourself. You made history too. You made history too as being the first woman Hispanic alderman for the city of Blue Island. What an honor it's been, again, for your commitment, not only as an alderman, but as to all the social activities, to the hospital, as being the conduit between the hospital, when it was St. Francis and Metro South, to this city, and I know you will continue doing so, your dedication to your family and to your parish. And we thank you from the bottom of our heart. Nancy Alderman Thompson is in here, but I'll say the following. She has been a wildfire <laughs> since day one. Oh, yeah. But she's always fought and will continue fighting, I know, for her constituents, whether she's an alderman or not. Uh, when I was an alderman, she's always pressing for certain things. We try to do the best as we could. Her as an alderman, she uh, again addressed certain things. We were finally able to address certain things, and within the next couple months, there's going to be even some major major improvements in that ward. Not only to her, to thank her, but all Alderman Osling and all the Aldermen uh, for their dedication in that area. And she's been a fighter, but a good fighter. A fighter for the rights of who she thought were the underdogs. And I want to thank her for her dedication, her service. 
Uh, I know there was a, some time that she was ill, uh, but I wish her the be best. Uh, her family, again, has roots going back even before my family. Uh, and we want to thank her for her dedication to this. Alvin Fausto, you made another history, again, in lineage as Hispanic alderman in the city of Blue Island. Your dedication to the, your area, again, representation has been phenomenal. Uh, always looking out to making sure that services were provided in your area where you thought they were lacking. Uh, we made, within the last couple of years, some major, major improvements in their uh, residential areas and we'll continue doing so. That area, again, of uh, Old Western Avenue has done tremendous turnaround. There was times, again, and I just saw it, the Forbidden Mural, it popped up in Facebook, whether it was by choice or by miracle, it popped up on my Facebook. Again, your dedication, your leadership for that committee and those group of volunteers in looking out and continuing uh, looking out for the best interests of your community, whether Hispanic, white, black, or whatever color they are, uh, means a lot. Uh, you're a family man. We wish you the best. Uh, you're right now working with a sister city between ourselves and uh, your home roots back in Mexico. And we're going to try to accomplish that and continue the, the conduit between both our, our cities. Again, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your dedication and service to this community. Go ahead. <coughs> and I'll let each of them, if you want, to do the same once I finish. Uh, I didn't really write up anything. Didn't really know if I wanted to say anything or not, but I'll, I'll be brief. And I'll try not to get a little choked up here. But, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, after I got married, if you would have told me eight years from then, you'd be finishing up your second term, bald-headed and wearing glasses. <laughs> two kids. I wouldn't have believed you. I would have put money on that. But uh, so, so it is, you know, we stand here. I stand here at that state in, in my life. Um, uh, and I, I, you know, I just wanted to briefly go over, you know, how, how this eight-year journey began. Um, you know, I had just gotten married and uh, some good friends of mine, uh, Miguel and Mark, <clears throat> approached me and they're like, you know, hey man, you should, you should consider running for, for, for Alderman. You know, I just graduated, um, looking for a house and, you know, they just caught me at the right time and, and um, you know, some, some of you might even know the story, but I said, you know what, why am I going to move away from something that I've known my whole life and that I love? And I, you know, bought a house here and um, never really was a big complainer, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, I'd just rather uh, make, make things happen, do things, or, or make right what's wrong, what you see. And, um, you know, you briefly touched on that mirror of, you know, Old Western and, and the, the old Little Mexico area. When, it, when I was a kid growing up, um, you know, we were ignored down there. We didn't really have a voice. Uh, I remember uh, the, the, the Sanger Fest. You know, some of you might remember that fest. Mm -hmm. well, you know, people, from time to time we hear people say what they didn't like happening or what they don't like happening now. Uh, you know, it's not a problem for the city, but, you know, the, uh, you know, the police officers used to roll in a golf cart down there and drop off kegs to keep us out of the Sanger Fest, you know. Stay here. Have fun here. We just, we just don't want to see, we just don't want to see an old Western. It's a dark moment, and a lot of people don't know about it, and, you know, it is, it is what it is. Would that happen in this day and age now? Probably not. Um, but I was a young teenager and I didn't know any better. You know, so okay, you know, what's going on here? You know, you just saw it and you just accepted it for what it was. So I started thinking about that, you know, and I said, you know what, I, I guess I, you know, I am gonna um, take a shot at this, see what happens, and you know, I ended up winning by, you know, handful of votes and um, uh, very grateful and very honored to have uh, been able to represent the war in the city give people a voice um, it, it just means so much you know that um, that area has changed down there for you know for the, for the better it's done a 180 business is thriving you know we're hitting a little bump here and there but uh, you know the, the bars down there you wouldn't catch anybody walking in there for their for their life you know and it's just completely different so it's beautiful to see the change 
Um, so I just wanted to take a moment to thank you know those those people that kind of uh, steered me in the, that direction and and, and uh, because of them I was able to make a difference in this town. Um, from my point, you know, everybody else can have their own opinion about me, but uh, you know I just wanted to thank Mark, uh, Petasca, uh, Miguel Salgado. Um, you know, obviously I wanted to thank I want to thank my wife and my kids for that for for what they've dealt with me being away. Um, they actually, obviously they couldn't be here tonight because they're uh, she's at LA practice getting ready for recital and all that good stuff and you know we're, we're busy so just wanted to thank them I uh, want to thank all the residents of the sixth ward now part of the first ward and part of the second ward uh, for for their support and for having elected you know I'm forever grateful um, it's been an absolute pleasure and honor uh, I just want to thank all of the council all of you I can't thank you guys enough for your friendship uh, working together, you know, some of us, uh, some some of the council members and, and mayor that I've worked with aren't here no more. Uh, uh, I can't thank you enough for your friendship, working together, supporting me in some initiatives. You know, that, you know, you brought up the mural or when I ran the marathon and all the support. We've we've, we've all just worked together and and I know at times it's a little difficult and and you feel like, you know, why isn't anything happening in my ward? Uh, you know, and just it's just based on certain certain circumstances, certain tools that aren't available to, to your specific area, right? TIF districts, business district, all that good stuff. But in the grand scheme of things, we were always on board for whatever good is happening in town, we were for it. We're for it, whether it's not in your ward, whether it's not in your neighborhood, uh, we, we have always been for it. Um, so I just really want to thank all the council members. And, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the one person I've known the longest here is um, Alderman Vieira. Uh, she's known me since since uh, I was a little kid, since back in my soccer days, and uh, um, you know, thank you for your service, and I just wanted to thank you um, for all the work that you've done prior to being alderman. You know, uh, all the years that you um, you worked hard with uh, your, the soccer club with Morelia. Um, you know, we we I've heard people mention here. You know, it takes a community to raise people, and uh, you know, my dad came here, hard worker. Worked at the hospital for 40 years, um, had his own cleaning business, you know, he had accounts at Pronger Smith, yada, 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 right? So, uh, you know, there was times where he wasn't there and he wasn't available to take me to games or, hey, I wanted to go to a banquet and have fun with my friends and, and you know, people like you were there. And um, I'm uh, forever grateful for that. You know, those three, four hours that... You know, you pulled me away from there. You know, I'm trying to get not choked up here, but um, it's all right. My life could have went in a whole different direction. I mean, you guys know that that neighborhood was a pretty tough neighborhood. A lot of gang activity, a lot of uh, uh, violence, a lot of uh, bad things happening. And you know, those two, three hours that you yanked me away probably saved me from. Um, being influenced into doing something, um, whether it be substance abuse, whether it be making the wrong decision, you know. So I'm forever grateful for that, and that's why I love this town. And um, <clears throat> I'll just leave it at that. Thank you guys so much, and thank the city for for allowing me to serve in, in this capacity for the past eight years. I'm not going away for you know. I'll still be around with some other initiatives, um, and and by all means, able to be available to help you guys in any way that I can. So thank you so much. Thank you. Alderman Pittman, I call you the quiet man. I take it as a compliment. Businessman here in Blue Island, but primarily a family man, dedicated to his family, to his wife, always together, always together. And I want to thank her. I don't see her in the audience, but again, the sacrifice that you have done for this city is tremendous. Because again, you could be sitting back, watching TV, going to sports or whatever, but no, you've decided to run, to take the oath, run for office, and represent your constituents in your war. And that's admirable. 
highly admirable that a lot of people of all ages don't do, unfortunately. Again, and I keep repeating this, the motto of the late President Kennedy, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. You stepped up to the plate and you did it. So on behalf of the city of Blue Island, thank you very much for your service and Godspeed and God bless you. I'd like to say a few quick words. Sure. Um, it's been a privilege and an honor to serve with my constituents on the council. I appreciate your friendship and your help. Uh, I kind of stepped in here out of the blue not knowing what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, uh, all the people in my ward, I served two wards, the fifth ward and the sixth ward. All the people in my ward and the people in the city of Blue Island. And last but not least, my wife who, as we speak, is in Payless Hospital recovering from knee replacement surgery. Thank you all very much. We'll keep her in our, in our prayers. Thank you very much, Alderman. Last but not least, even though he's not here, but let's assume that he's there, <laughs> George Poulos, Mr. Greek, and I say it in a good way. The man, educator, photographer, socialite, uh, wine connoisseur, uh, you name it. Uh, the man stands out. Uh, he stands for what he stands for. He does. Uh, when you needed a vote, he was there. His main thing was to do the right thing for the city of Blue Island, and he always did. Um, very involved. I know now recently he's involved with the Montessori School. Prior to that, a uh, businessman for many, many, many years, again, on Western Avenue as a photographer, uh, giving of his time and dedication, again, just like Alderman Pittman and all of the rest of you, could be somewhere else, but no, decided to be here every second and fourth Tuesday of the month, giving back to the community. Again, I want to thank George Poulos, even though he's not here, but you'll see this tape from the bottom of my heart for his dedication and service not only to his ward, but to all the residents, and I repeat, to all the residents of Blue Island. If there's any other alderman want to say, go ahead, alderman. I'd like to add a PS. Sure. <laughs> Even though I won't be sitting in this seat, I'll still be here in Blue Island. Thank I'll you. be here. Thank you. I will be here. <laughs> Thank you. For those aldermen that didn't, go ahead, the mic's yours. Okay. Wow. 24 years. I was very young when I started. Um, the mayor had black hair and a black mustache, yep. so time goes on. Um, I'm going to keep it short because I'll just start crying as I see some of my friends. I want to thank the um, residents of the 5th Ward, which I am in now. When I was elected, it was the 6th Ward. So I have been the alderman of the north side east and west for the last 24 years and it's been a great honor and pleasure thank you thank you very much i would like to say thank you to everyone here and the previous administration also for giving me the opportunity but especially the second board who elected me <coughs> two <coughs> times and i uh, was appointed one term so um 14 years of service, and I'm very grateful that they elected me, and I represented the second board for 12 years, and two years, the seventh board. Thank you very much, everyone, and I'll always be here. If anyone needs help with any committees, <laughs> volunteering only, <laughs> please call on me. Thank, Thank you again. Everyone. For any of you all, all of you are here, if you'd like to say something, the mic's open. Alderman Slattery? For them, anything? Uh, it's been nice working with you guys. Um, I got elected in 2015 and re-elected now, um, and you guys have been very helpful. Any questions, um, you know, concerns? Um, when Hyro and I were on judiciary, I didn't know anything about you know codification or anything, and he was very helpful. And Letty also with judiciary, and Ken with judiciary. So. It's been nice working with you guys, and please, please come to meetings and call us and ask many questions, and 
will be here for you. Alderman Johnson, would you like to have any words? Yeah, I just want to thank them for, for their dedication to this um, position. It's not easy, not especially looking at their tenure, the people you got to work with, the people you got to work against. You know, it's a democracy. We all are never going to really agree on everything, but basically we agree on things to help push Blue Island forward. And I appreciate uh, fighting with uh, Alden Frausto out there for our votes and our elections. And just to push this city forward, it's good to get the knowledge from you guys. And I appreciate you guys giving me the knowledge because you didn't have to, but you did. And I thank you for it. Thank you. Alderman Vito? Um, I just want to say that um, it has, honestly, it's been a pleasure. Um, We've had our ups, we've had our downs, we've agreed, we've disagreed. But, um, I mean, we laughed, we cried. I'm sure Alderman Jane goes looking down, smiling. And um, I just wanted to, you know, truly say thank you. And it's been an honor to serve with you and um, for your friendship. And I hope I see you around, okay? <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Alderman Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, just wanted to thank the outgoing Alderman for your service. It has been a pleasure to serve with you the last six years. As Alderman Rita said, we have agreed, we've disagreed. It's been fun. Uh, I don't know who I'm going to argue with now, Chairman Oslin. <laughs> I, I didn't have to. I didn't have to start arguing with uh, with Tom. So, uh, Alderman, I'll be in the front row. Oh, good. Please, thank you. Uh, but I, I, I will miss you guys. It's, it has been a pleasure and an honor to, uh, to sit up here with you. So, thank you again. Um, it's been really great getting to know all of you uh, better. I knew most of you before, uh, but it's been great to work with all of you on various committees and also uh, with Alderman Osley and Alderman Bea uh, on the uh, Christmas Parade Committee. Um, it's been great working uh, side by side with you guys closer and for a nice event for the city. Um, I would would like to wish you all the best of luck and uh, enjoy your time off of council. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> what am I gonna do? And I know I will see you uh, around, and I hope to see you often. Alderman Farrell. So I, I'm not the youngest member of the city council, but I'm the newest member, and so I want to thank everybody who's staying and, and who's leaving for all the help that I've been given in the last couple of years to learn the ropes. Um, in particular, I would like to call out Alderman Osling and Alderman Vieira. Uh, served on finance committee with both of them, and Alderman Vieira also on judiciary with me. And um, one is uh, loquacious, and one is uh, careful with her words. And but they both <laughs> taught me. <laughs> I won't say who, uh, but I will say that um, I have I I knew that they I've knew, known them as Alderman for a long time, and I didn't really know either one of them all that well. It's been a pleasure to get to know both of you uh, closely and your guidance and um, most of all your wisdom. It will be missed. Thank you. Thank you. Let me end with this. The city attorney, myself, and the city are preparing some something for all of you. Um, so we will try to set a date where we try to get everybody together, uh, all of you. Uh, to commemorate your service to the city officially and we're working on that and some other things. So again, you're not leaving yet. Uh, city clerk, the business. Yeah, I have four requests this evening, Your Honor. First is a motion to approve a request from Blue Cap to hold their annual Tag Day fundraiser on Friday and Saturday, October 4th and 5th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. I have a motion by Alderman Vieira, second by Alderman Johnson. Any questions? <coughs> Roll call, please. Osling. Aye. Osling, aye. Pittman. Aye. Pittman, aye. Slattery. Aye. Slattery, aye. Johnson. Aye. Johnson, aye. Frausto. Aye. Frausto, aye. Vieta. Aye. Vieta, aye. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Ten ayes, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Next, I need a motion to approve a request from the Salvation Army to hold their annual Red Kettle campaign on Monday to Saturday, November 1st to December 24th, 2019. I have a motion by Alderman Slattery. Do I have a second by Alderman Rita? Any questions? Roll call, please. Osling. Aye. Osling, aye. Pittman. Aye. 
Pittman. Aye. Slattery. Aye. Slattery. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Frausto. Aye. Frausto. Aye. Vieta. Aye. Vieta. Aye. Rita. Aye. Rita. Aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue. Aye. Holly. Aye. Holly. Aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Ten eyes, Your Honor. Thank you. <coughs> Next, I need a motion to approve a request from the Cook County School District 130 for their Fit for Life one mile walk run on May 16, 2019, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Could I have Alderman Pittman? And could I have Alderman Frausto? Um, motion. Second. Roll call, please. Osling. Aye. Osling. Aye. Pittman. Aye. Pittman. Aye. Slattery. Aye. Slattery. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Frausto. Aye. Frausto. Aye. Vieta. Aye. Vieta. Aye. Rita. Aye. Rita. Aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue. Aye. Holly. Aye. Holly. Aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Ten eyes, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Lastly, I need a motion to approve a block party in the 2500 block of New Street on Sunday, May 26. 2019 from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Could I have Alderman Osling and Alderman Vieira? Motion is second. Roll call, please. Osling. Aye. Osling, aye. Pittman. Aye. Pittman, aye. Slattery. Aye. Slattery, aye. Johnson. Aye. Johnson, aye. Frausto. Aye. Frausto, aye. Vieta. Aye. Vieta, aye. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Abstain. Holly, abstain. Farrenwald. Aye. Farewell, I ten I or excuse me, nine eyes and one abstention, Your Honor. Thank you. And that's it. Any bids? Yes, we have one bid this evening. We need a, a bid to approve a 2019 Chatham Street resurfacing award recommendation for M and J Asphalt Paving Company for two hundred eighty-three thousand three hundred twenty-one dollars and eighty cents. Need a motion by Alderman Vera, second by Alderman Frausto. Any questions? Roll call, please. Osling. Aye. Osling. Aye. Pittman. Aye. Pittman. Aye. Slattery. Aye. Slattery, aye. Johnson. Aye. Johnson, aye. Frausto. Aye. Frausto, aye. Vieta. Aye. Vieta, aye. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Ten eyes, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Anything else? That's it. City Treasurer. Thank you. All of us should have uh, in your packet, you received the transfer of restricted and unrestricted funds, a total of 90. $90,143.78. Get a motion by Alderman Osling. Do you have a second? By Alderman Hawley. Any questions? Roll call, please. Osling. Aye. Osling, aye. Pittman. Aye. Pittman, aye. Slattery. Aye. Slattery, aye. Johnson. No. Johnson, no. Frausto. Aye. Frausto, aye. Vieta. Aye. Vieta, aye. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Hawley. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Nine eyes and one no, Your Honor. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, city Attorney. Thank you, Mayor. We have two ordinances this evening. Ordinance number 2019-009. An ordinance authorizing leasing of certain property within the city of Blue Island, Cook County, Illinois, for use by Club Morelia Soccer Team. Okay, could I have a motion by Alderman Pittman and a second by Alderman Osling? Any questions? Roll call, please. Osling. Aye. Osling, aye. Pittman. Aye. Pittman, aye. Slattery. Aye. Slattery, aye. Johnson. Aye. Johnson, aye. Frausto. Aye. Frausto, aye. Vieta. Abstain. Vieta, abstain. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Nine eyes and one abstention. Thank you. The second ordinance is ordinance number 2019-010, an ordinance of the City of Blue Island, Cook County, Illinois, approving an intergovernmental agreement between the Village of Posen and the City of Blue Island. This involves the exchange of property by Posen, its ambulance, in exchange for the City's agreement to uh, sweep their streets on two separate occasions in September of 2019 and 2020, if I'm not mistaken. Could I have a motion by Alderman Frost, so second by Alderman Vieira. Motion and second. Any questions? Roll call, please. Osling. Aye. Osling, aye. Pittman. Aye. Pittman, aye. Slattery. Aye. Slattery, aye. Johnson. I'm sorry, I did have a question. Go ahead. Uh, the council. Is that uh, with the police and fire department or just street sweep? Just street sweeping. Just street sweeping. Okay. Yes. Aye. 
Thank you. Johnson, aye. Frausto. Aye. Frausto, aye. Vieta. Vieta, aye. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Ten eyes. Thank you. Uh, committee reports. Community development. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, we had a meeting uh, last. Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> <Sometimes Wednesdays. last week. laughs> I, I didn't have the minutes together. I'll have them for the next one. Uh, but at that meeting, we did uh, approve to waive the fees for business license application for the Church of God located at 127 South Wood Street. And I'd like to make that a formal motion. We got a motion. We got a second. Alvin Pittman. Any questions? I have one question. Go ahead. Is that St. Isidore's? Yes. Yes. Got a motion. Second. Go ahead. Uh, Thanks, Mayor. Chairman, uh, was parking discussed? Yes, what, it was. What's the plan? Because no one, I asked Howard, and he said they're going to lease it from the Archdiocese, but Father Diego told me they're not leasing the property to them, the parking lot. So The plan was that they were going to uh, to approach St. Donatus about possibly leasing that property. And then they also have uh, some property to the south of the one building that they were talking about making into a lot as well. And I believe there's a little piece of property behind the church too that is already a lot. But there's, there's like seven spots. Yeah, seven yeah. spots. Yeah. So that that was the plan for the time being. Um, they are closing their church and moving here, so yeah. this is kind of like a satellite church. So it's it's probably going to take a little while for them to grow into the space. Anyway, so. Okay. I'm just I'm sorry. I'm just concerned because there's no street parking there, and then there's there's like seven spots behind, <coughs> nine maybe five spots behind St. Isidore. So if they don't get the old St. Isidore lot. I don't. I just don't know where they can't park on 127th, obviously, and Wood Street. There's no street parking either. Right. So I'm just concerned. I think Alvin Reed and I both yeah. share this concern. And, and it was it was brought up and it was discussed, and they and we were uh, we asked uh, the uh, reverend to work with the building department as well as approaching St. Donatus to get permission to uh, park over there. Okay. So thank you. It's kind of a working process. They're still going to have to do some. So there's a motion, there's a second. Osling. Aye. Osling, aye. Pittman. Aye. Pittman, aye. Slattery. Aye. Slattery, aye. Johnson. Yes. Aye. Johnson, aye. Frausto. Aye. Frausto, aye. Vieta. Vieta, aye. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Ten eyes, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Uh, finance committee. Um, the finance committee did not have a quorum, um, so I have to ask for a motion for the approval of the accounts payable for April 24th, 2019, in the amount of $318,422.18. I need a motion and a second. We've got a motion. We have a second. Who's, who's, who's the motion? <laughs> well, let's do this. Motion by Alvin Farrenwall. We have a second by Alvin Vieira. Any questions? Osling? Aye. Osling, aye. Pittman? Aye. Pittman, aye. Slattery? Aye. Slattery, aye. Johnson? Yeah, parting gift, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Johnson, aye. Frausto? Aye. Frausto, aye. Vieta? Aye. Vieta, aye. Rita? <laughs> I was going to say the same thing, Alderman. <laughs> aye. Also kind. Rita, aye. Yeah. Donahue. No aye. grief. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. No. Farrenwald, no. Nine eyes, one no. <laughs> 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 Gotta be contrary. All right. Okay, I, I also need a motion for approval of the payroll of April 19th, 2019, in the amount of $346,283.28. I need a motion and a second. A motion by Alvin Pittman, second by Alvin Slattery. Any questions? Osling. Aye. Osling, aye. Pittman. Aye. Pittman, aye. Slattery. Aye. Slattery, aye. Johnson. Aye. Johnson, aye. Frausto. Aye. Frausto, aye. Vieta. Vieta, aye. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Ten eyes, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Okay, at this time, I would just like to thank um, the committee that I have worked with for two years. It's not an easy committee to work on. We meet two 
times a month and um, the dedication of this committee has been wonderful. So I'd like to thank Alderman Nancy Thompson, Alderman Jairo Frosto, Alderman Letty Vieira, Alderman Tom Hawley, and Alderman Bill Farrell for their work and dedication. Thank you. And I also need uh, direction because <clears throat> our next finance meeting should be um, May 7th, and um, that's before any swearing in, so do I come back? Continue. You can continue. Oh, thanks. You can continue. Lucky. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Boy, are you lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so then. All right, finance. <laughs> we will meet on uh, May 7th at 7 o'clock. Thank you. Mark it down. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Public Health and Safety Committee. Uh, no report, Your Honor, and I, I'm, I don't think we're meeting again until the new council sworn in. That's fine. Thank you. Municipal Services Committee. Uh, we just met right before council meeting. We just had our meeting at 6 p.m. Um, I'm not going to give another date because obviously the committees are going to be revamped and I also would like to say thank you very much to the Municipal Services Committee and the Alderman that I've worked with. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Judiciary Committee? Uh, no report. The meeting that was scheduled for tomorrow night is being rescheduled for, it has, is being rescheduled, it hasn't yet officially been rescheduled, but we expect it to be Wednesday, May 1st at 6 p.m. Thank you very much. Any Alderman announcements or comments? If not, uh, we motion to retire the session. Okay, you know what? Oh. Go into closed session. Uh, <laughs> Second by Alder Vieira. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let's go. You have to do this. You have to do this for our way. Come on, Ruben. Come on, Perry. Come on. Come on. Need a motion to reconvene. For Alder Vieira, second by Alder Frosto.